Hi, Morgan here for Onefinity, and today I'm getting acquainted with my new Elite Series woodworker. Oh baby. Pretty soon Elite Series machines will start shipping out, and there's some pretty big differences between them and the standard models. A lot of the main components are the same, but Elite Series machines feature upgraded stepper motors and a whole new controller and touchscreen interface powered by Masso. So we'll go through how the machine is set up, homing, jogging, probing, loading a program, and finally, we'll make our first cut. And to do that, we've provided a VCAR file and the G-code for this test piece. I'll put a link in the description for you to download it and run it when the time comes, but in the meantime, let's go ahead and get everything plugged in and powered on. We'll have a dedicated video showing how to assemble the machine and plug everything in, but for now, let's just assume that this machine is fully assembled and everything is properly connected, because, because it is. On the power supply, you'll notice two outlets one for your router and one for the vacuum. Garbage truck. Come on guys. Okay. On the front of the power supply, you'll notice two outlets. These are relays which will power the router and the vacuum when you start a cutting operation and power them down when the program's complete. So once you get them plugged in, you can go ahead and flip the power switches on both to on. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the machine. When the controller boots up, you'll notice that the e-stop and homing buttons are flashing. You didn't do anything wrong. That's a safety feature to ensure that the e-stop is working properly before running a program. So you'll hit the e-stop, pull it back out, and that'll clear the alert. Then I'm just going to double tap the home button to home the machine. Now let's go to the jog and probing screen under F3 to get the material and router into position. You want to switch it from step mode to continuous mode and increase the feed rate on the slider here. All the way to the left is the slowest it can possibly move, and all the way to the right is the fastest it can move. Just set it to wherever you're most comfortable. The test piece should be 11 inches wide by four inches high and a half inch thick. Since it's not cutting to full depth, the material can be thicker, but you don't wanna go any thinner than a half inch. And make sure the material is square to the X and Y axes. The program for this test piece calls for a quarter inch diameter spiral end mill, so make sure you have the right bit installed. I'm going to put my 3-axis touch probe on the bottom left corner of the material, the one closest to the machine's default home position. Using the jogging controls, I'm going to position my bit separated by about a half inch, and then hit the probe icon right here. Make sure that the probe diameter matches the diameter of your bit. In this case, it'll be 0.25 inches, and if you're using an eighth inch bit for something else later on, you'd put it to 0.125 inches and so on and so forth. You're smart people, you get it. Now imagine that this diagram here is a representation of your touch probe. Since the bit is positioned at the top right corner of the touch probe, that's where we'll tap to begin probing for X and Y. All right, you'll see it touches off the X axis, scoots itself around the corner, then probes on the Y side. Now just jog the Z axis up a little bit so that it's above the touch probe then tap the center to probe for Z. For this test file, I have my Makita router dialed down to the three mark, which is about 17,000 RPMs. Now insert a thumb drive into the USB port on the bottom of the controller and go to the F6 load file screen. Find the G code file and tap it to load the program. You'll see a preview over here on the left and the little blue dot here indicates the X and Y starting point. All right, everything looks good. I need to hit rewind to ensure that the program starts from the very beginning. Then tap on cycle start. You'll notice that the router and vacuum is automatically powered on and then the machine will execute the program. Once it's finished, the router and vacuum will automatically power down and you're all done. Look at that, gorgeous. Be sure to prominently display this somewhere in your shop or I don't, heck, your home. Throw it up on your mantle. Show everyone you're part of the elite. And that's it. I hope that you found this helpful. And as always, if you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so that you can get more tips and tricks on how to get the most out of your Elite Series 1 Infinity. Thanks for watching. Y'all be good.